What if in my solution I have not one, but two sparingly soluble salts? For example, if I have Cu2 plus ions and Ni2 plus ions in a solution in the same concentration and I pass H2S through it, will Cus or Nis precipitate first? Here is where we need to compare the KSP values. Now thinking intuitively, if one compound has a higher KSP than the other, it means that it is more soluble and it is less likely to precipitate compared to another compound with a lower KSP value. That sounds reasonable. But in order to score, we have to include the terms Q and KSP in our explanation. Let's go through this scenario in greater detail. H2S will react with water to produce hydronium and S2- ions. This tells you that if you want more S2- ions, you should shift the equilibrium right by putting a base inside. But going back to the problem, the KSP of NIS is 4 times 10 to the power of negative 21, or the KSP of CUS is 6.3 times 10 to the power of negative 36. As the concentration of S2- increases, the reaction quotients of both CU CUS and NRS both increase. The KSP of CUS, however, is so small compared to the KSP of NRS, such that a tiny concentration of S2- easily causes the reaction quotient Q to be greater than K, forming the precipitate first. For NIS, at a point where CUS precipitates, Q is still smaller than K, and you can actually go calculate that. Now since only CUS precipitates, we can make use of this phenomenon to perform selective filtration since CUS will now be the residue and NIS will still be dissolved and it will be in the filtrate. So with that, this concludes the, uh, the checkpoint on precipitation.